only allow you all to get hurt. Can't you guys be careful? User wrapping the bandage around the arm of Sam. He looked at you, your face scrunched while he was pressing his lips all the time to bear this pain. Your sudden cushion made him chuckle a little. You lifted your eyes up and looked at him and again focused on your work. What's so funny? Do I make any kind of joke? Well, kind of. You are a daughter of a mafia, still you don't know anything as if you are seeing all this for the very first time. I have never been raised with him, you should know that. Yes, I do, but it's not like you were too oblivious with your dad's work. You might know what kind of work he does or maybe you saw him walking home wounded. Hopefully I never witnessed anything like that. You said in a little annoyed voice making it clear for him that you are not lagging talking on this topic. He nodded and stayed quiet. You were done treating his hand and started to put everything back in the box. He looked at you and smiled. Thank you, you know it's the very first time I am getting proper treatment after being hurt. Or else, the mafia don't care about our wounds. Treatment is fine, but you have to care for it too. Don't wet it or else it will infect and also keep it covered as much as possible so that it won't leave the mark, okay? He looked at his arm and then at you before nodding with a smile. You look around and almost half of his gang was inside the mansion as they all were so badly wounded after a sudden attack from his enemies. You sign. You guys can stay here if you want to. Take rest. And you all will feel better. Thank you sister-in-law. By the way, we can repay your kindness by treating you with dinner. I hope you haven't had your dinner yet. I didn't, but it's okay. I will tell Mary to cook something for you all. Oh, why bother Mary to come here again and cook for us when Yunjin is here? Everything is better. He is really a great cook and you're gonna like his cooking too. Just take a rest. You might be startled by the sudden things. We will handle everything here. But how? You guys are hurt so badly. You need rest. Sister-in-law, these are some scratches and it's all fine. You just go and wait for the treat. You are going to have the best dinner of your life. You chuckle. All these mafias are hurt so badly and saying that these are just scratches. Crazy. You take a deep breath and nodded walking upstairs. Okay, but tell me if you all need anything and take care of yourself. You walk in the room and your eyes went on Jungkook sitting on the sofa with his hands folded to his chest. He looks a little worried and why not? Today, they really saved you as Jungkook was out for some work and this attack was so sudden and unexpected. You walked in south slowly and take out the first aid box from the drawer you saw earlier that his knuckles were bleeding so badly. He might be in tension because of that and why not, it's something that never happened with you before. Your father is mafia too but no one knows about you as you used to live with your grandmother. But then, one day your father suddenly introduced you to the whole world and fixed your marriage with Jungkook. It was just a business deal with them and you their trust and you also didn't oppose them as you believe in your father's choice. After marrying him, you get to know that he is the king of this mafia world, successful than your father too, and his anger, it's on the tip of his nose. He really has low patience, get angry so easily and even worried too, just like now. You don't know if it's the big thing to be attacked suddenly, but you somehow don't feel scared because you know, whatever happens, he will save you, for sure. He tried to show harder but his action shows the soft heart inside the hardness of his eyes. You sat beside him and slowly take his hands in yours trying not to wake him up if he is sleeping. But he opened his eyes making your eyes widen and he quickly left his hands. Oh, don't take this wrong. Actually, I was... Your knuckles are bleeding so I thought to treat them. You looked at his hand and sat straight while you also corrected your posture. It's okay, it's not serious, you shouldn't have to worry. 
You shouldn't treat this lightly. It will trouble you in future too. I'm a medical student and I know about all this better. I had hundreds of injuries like this back then. Hundreds? You said looking at him shocked while he nodded. What you guys get after ruining your relations and your body? He looked at you with his dark eyes while you quickly looked away. Oh, I'm sorry for asking things I shouldn't be. Forgot even what I said. What about your work? You look a little tense today. Is the problem still not solved? Well, that bloody Mr. Wood, he is not ready to listen to our conditions. But I am not any less. I will make him back for this deal. He is going to taste his own medicine. You said getting angry all of a sudden and got up, ready to leave, but Jungkook called your name. Making you look at him. He opens his sleeves button and pull them up. I think I need treatment. Pressing your lips together, you smiled slightly and nodded. You again sat on the bed and started to treat his hands while his eyes were admiring you. Your beauty, your innocence. You were worried for me today? Yes, I don't want to break your father's trust in me. That was so unexpected. You might get scared, right? But don't worry. I know, until you are with me, nothing going to happen to me. You suddenly looked at him, passing him a soft smile while his heart skipped a beat, seeing you so close to him. Are you sure you will take care of yourself? You put the plate on the sink and nodded while turning to Jungkook who was almost ready to leave for his work, but he was still not over from yesterday's incident. You don't have to worry and things won't happen twice, you should know that. And even if anything happens, then Sam is here with me. He nodded and fixes his collar. Even after that, if you feel even a little uneasy, then call me, okay? And don't go out on your own. Ask Sam to take you. You sign and got closer to him and you wrap your arm around him. Don't worry and take care of yourself. Jungkook walked in the room all tired with his work. You didn't go to the office today, that's why he have to handle your work too. You really like to give him a hard time. He signed and closed the door before walking towards the bathroom. All he need right now is the hot bath to drain all his tiredness. But on the way of bathroom, his eyes went on you sleeping like a butterfly on the bed, mostly covering it all. He chuckled. Well, it's not something new to him, only he knows how he is able to sleep at night with you. Sometimes he even sleeps on the floor when you go out of control. Walking to you, he first fixed your position and then pushed you in the middle of the bed so that you won't fall. Taking the blanket from the floor, he covered you with that but you instantly kick it away, making him sign. You are really crazy, you know that? He whispered this time. He wrapped you all in that blanket. Taking out the pencil that was holding your hair in a low bun, he let free your hair and patted you slightly. Kissing the top of your head, he walked in the bathroom. There are some things he can't do or express when you are awake, so he finds chances like this to express his love for you. Because no matter how dangerous the mafia he is, when it comes to expressing your love or confession, Everyone feels fear, even if it's first time. All is their heart beats faster out of their control. Maybe that's why you both never confess even after being in love. Jungkook went to the bathroom and was all ready to take off his clothes but suddenly he heard a voice as if something falls or maybe someone. He quickly walked out and saw you on the floor, all wrapped in the blanket. You might get hurt, but not much because of the thick blanket. You look at the bed and gulp. Your heart ceased to sleep there on the floor as your eyes were not ready to open, while your mind said, come on, you can climb and you try to climb on the bed back without standing up. He scoffed. I never saw someone as lazy as you. Can't you just get up and climb on it? 
You looked at him and sighed heavily, getting up with a blanket, you threw your body on the bed and looked at him with your sleepy eyes. When you come back, you are late today. Yes, there was a lot of work and even I had to look for my weapon still, so it gets late. Oh, well thank you for handling my work too, I am so lazy today and don't feel like working. Thank you so much. Of course, that's all what you can do for me after making me work all day. Really? What else do you want me to do? Nothing, just go back to sleep. I was just going to take a shower as my head is really hurting so badly. It will be good if someone massage it. You chuckle and stood on your knees and started to massage his head. Are you feeling good now? Well, I can do that much for you after you work on my place the whole day. By the way, did you get hurt somewhere when you fall on the floor? Don't make me remember that. It was so embarrassing. But I am all fine. It doesn't hurt much because of the blanket. You will surely get hurt if I didn't blow the blanket on you. What you say? Nothing. Just next time put pillows all over your side when you fall asleep. He said with a chuckle while you looked at him surprised. He scoffed. Yeah, I am not a kid to sleep like that. That was just an accident. I never behaved so childish. Yeah, yeah, only I know how mature you behave while sleeping. Sir, we check every possible place, but she is not anywhere, not even in the office. Then what the hell you are doing here? Just go and find her and don't you dare to come without any information about her. He said angrily making Rocky flinch a little but he looked down and nodded. Even with the extreme anger issue, Jungkook never shouted on his mans. But today it's totally different. He is not liking anyone in this mansion. All his mind is on you, who is missing since morning. No matter how much he calls you or message you, but you are not answering any of it. And this makes him even more angry. Come on, John Wayne, just answer the call just once, pick it up. He said while dialing your number again, but it's not reachable. He angrily threw his phone on the sofa and ran his finger through his hair. His heart was beating fast, just wishing you to be safe. Where the hell are you? He said and think for a while. You message him before leaving that you are in the office to attend an important meeting. But now, you are not even in the office and as these days his enemies are keeping their eyes on this mansion to look for a chance to bring Jungkook down and they can do anything for that, even use you. This thought make him more mad. Grabbing his car key, he left again to look for you. Even after searching the whole city twice, he is not satisfied and walked out again. Sam, keep an eye on this mansion and just don't stop calling her. Sir, ma'am is already here. He said walking to Jungkook who finally gets some breath in relief. He walked inside the mansion a little confused. Everything was looking so chaotic but as soon as they saw you everyone calmed down. You look around and walked inside trying your best to ignore them. Of course, this is not because of you, might be their enemies again planning something. You said while looking at them, but their eyes were only on you, making you more confused. Suddenly some heavy quick steps caught your attention. You look at the person and saw Jungkook walking to you with his wide steps. He looks tired, hair all fall down on his forehead while he was sweating so badly. Wait, is it really you? And before you get any reason to ask him what's happening, he grab your wrist and pull you in a tight hug, making your eyes widen. Actions like this are so unexpected from him. You can feel his heart racing up with breath in relief, leaving his mouth. You were so confused. By all this. Jungkook, what happened? Is everything okay? I told you not to leave without my permission or at least inform me if you are going to be late or if you are going somewhere. 
I won't stop you. Instead of taking you out of this confusion, he is making it all even more complicated for you. But one thing is sure that he is worried for you. He does care for you. You smiled and patted his back to calm him down. I know you never stopped me, but I think I told you before leaving, didn't I? I don't remember. All I know is that you keep ignoring my call. You even know how worried I was for you. Situation these days are not normal. I know. I was in an important meeting. You know that, right? And I remember leaving a message for you. Didn't you see that? I do. But still, I need things to be confirmed. He said and pulled you deep in a hug. He signed and patted his back. Okay, okay, I got it. I won't go anywhere without informing you. And instead of messaging you, I will call you by myself. He said with a chuckle while he scoffed and broke the hug. You really think it's funny? Here I was just too worried for you. You almost gave me heart attack and now smiling. You said and put your hand on his mouth making his heart flutter by your touch. Don't say something like that, understand? He bite his lower lip and again pulled you in a hug as his heart still want to make sure that you are okay and nothing happened to you because literally he was so worried. You won't believe, I feel like I already lost you, that's the worst nightmare. You chuckle and wrap your arm around him resting your chin on his shoulder. Don't worry, I will never leave you. Never ever. You both were all lost in your comfort. When someone cleared his thought and both of your eyes widened, you quickly back off, breaking the hug while all guards just pressed their lips together to control their smile. You looked around nervously and put your hair behind your ears. Uh, I, I'm going in. Bye. You said and quickly ran inside, closing your eyes in embarrassment while smiling. All of their eyes went on Jungkook and he tried to find some excuses to run away from their eyes. All of you, just get back to your work now. He said in his hard voice and walked inside the mansion, scratching the back of his neck with a smile on his lips. That is so rare but pure.